Hello guys! Welcome to my channel. My name is Mia and this is my work is I'm a UI UX designer and I try to make videos that would make your life hella easier. So today we're gonna talk about creating Lottie animations in Figma. Mind blowing. You don't have to use After Effects, you don't have to use any hard tool. You're gonna create your animations in Figma itself using this new plugin that has been launched I guess a week ago and it's really awesome I'm gonna use it to create a presentation of the design I did and create a small animation export it and use it for my Instagram or Dribble post so let's jump into Figma and start designing and animating and see where that gets us if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe it's gonna help me a lot leave a comment give me your feedbacks like this video and let's get on with it we're currently in lottie's file in figma i found it in figma community i found the plugin as well i installed it and now we're here and we want to use it but before getting deep into it i actually went in their website i read about their features and everything they had and also i read about the supported features which was in their faq so you don't have to a lot of things are not supported right now so you gotta be super creative while creating your animations so i read about it and some text uh, frames and all of this stuff are not available right now but we still can work it through so i have some of my designs here these are the ones i tested i prototyped this is the one with the full design this is actually the one uh, with two images which again are not supported right now so i thought if we had two images and we would just move around with the cursor that would work but that's not the case right now so from what i figured we could do frames and then images on top of them and frames with shapes so let's just see how would that look right now i'm just gonna select all this as you can see they have a lot of free animations that you can use obviously which i love but you know i love free stuff but here if you choose all of your selections you see you can actually have this type of mouse uh, moving feature so i'm just gonna insert this i'm gonna do a large one wait for it to convert and then i'm gonna show you how it's gonna look on the actual design i'm just trying to give you ideas of how you can be creative let's see where did it insert it so it actually inserted it here and now just to give you guys an idea of how you can work through with this i'm just gonna bring this here sorry for the mess i'm just gonna bring this here delete this completely and put this on the background of my design something like this let's see how it would look and if i can actually use it to post this design mm, i think it's pretty decent but like we have to work through it so it would like we could create some much more complex animation and now let's see for this one how it would look i might i was actually super excited to create animations using this but i guess it's not there yet you see it's a little bit hard to work with and it's gonna take a while but i guess we can get the hang of it this is actually how it's gonna look with images and stuff like that i think the reason it's glitchy like that is because i prototyped it let's delete it because i was trying to figure out how the prototype looked so that was how it looked with the dot and now let's see how it looks with the image itself okay now we're at the final design actually i don't love it and some of the features they mentioned that they're gonna have here for changing the animation was not here so i had to create auto layout here to see how it's working so but i'm not gonna take much of your time go to my instagram and see what i posted and what did i end up with so just to wrap this up real quick my advice to you using this is that only use shapes no images no text no nothing create the animation you want and send it in the back layer of your design and that's the only way that this would work i guess so yeah let me know what you think this is what i came up with and that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it let me know if you use this tool let me know if it was useful for you and if you're gonna try it soon i'm gonna post the animation i just created in instagram so make sure you follow my instagram and see the post there and subscribe to my channel leave a thumbs up 
leave a comment and tell me what you thought about this video and I'm gonna probably see you in the next video. Bye bye!